This is nuts and bolts speed training with your keyboard shortcuts for repeating an action in PowerPoint, which is extremely useful when you work through your presentations in a sweeping technique and undoing an action in PowerPoint. And I'll show you how to customize the number of actions you can undo. And here in PowerPoint, let's first look at repeating an action in a sweeping technique. And what I mean by a sweeping technique is first selecting an object or a block of text, performing an action, and then sweeping through your slide or your presentation and repeating that action with your keyboard shortcuts. So for example, if I select this first block, a bulleted text and in my ruler, I change the bullet spacing. I can then select another block of text and use one of two shortcuts. I can either hit Control Y for redo for this first block of text or select another block of text. I can hit F4 on my keyboard to again repeat the action. Both shortcuts do exactly the same thing. I can also repeat actions between my slides. So if I hold in shift, select my three rectangles, come to the drawing tools format tab. I'm going to fill them with a light blue. Now to move to the next slide, I need to make sure to click with my mouse. If I hit page down, that will count as an action when I redo it. So I'll click to slide number four, holding shift, select my two rectangles. I'll hit control Y on this first slide to redo the action. Click to slide number five. And on this last slide, I'll hit F4 to redo that action. So that's how to redo an action in a sweeping technique. Now let's look at undoing an action. And first off, if you navigate to your file tab or the office button in PowerPoint 2007, come to the options and come to advanced, notice that you can set how many undo actions you can perform in PowerPoint. I have mine set to 20, I'll click OK. So if I click back here in the normal view and I hit Control Z, notice that I begin to undo everything that I just did in my presentation. Now once you've undone something, you can redo it the opposite direction. So if I hit Control Y on my keyboard, notice that I start to redo everything that I just undid here in PowerPoint. So those are your keyboard shortcuts for redoing and undoing actions in PowerPoint and how to manually set just how many actions you can undo. To grab a PDF of all these awesome shortcuts plus over 100 more, look for the link beneath this video.